you're doing with a roller. I mean, some artwork. I'm an artist. This, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm not a painter. I, I I'm said, an artist. Yeah, so I had to in introduce myself as an artist. I gave him my card. And so one of them, you know, stopped what he was doing. He said, what you need to do is go across the street to the bow tie shop and you ask for Michael Lamont. And he'll tell you what, what you need to know. So I went across the street and he showed me this crest about this big. Oh, wow. His crest. Yeah. yeah, it was on a, he printed it out on a piece of paper, you know. And um, I took it home and I enlarged it. And then I came back the next day and I started drawing it on the wall. Awesome. Yeah. So from this size, I printed it out to about this size, like six inches. And then I painted it on the wall. It took me like about four days. I've seen it. And yeah, it's yeah, very. Nice. It's a lot of detail, you know, doves in the Bible and the swords and the lettering going around in the oval shape. So um, he promised me that um, after I finish painting it and if he likes it, he's going to send me to a big church that needs artwork. And he kept his word. I went to the next church called um, Good News Sounds of Pentecost. And... Um, it's on 15th Avenue off of 16th and um, right close to South Orange Avenue. And so that guy told he I was so highly recommended that that guy just told me, well, the pastor, he told me, I'm just let you do your thing. Wow. On this wall. I trust you. You know, I trust Pastor Lamont. So I told him that I was going to um, give him angels on the wall with a choir singing. And um, I promised him that it wasn't going to look like a funeral. You know, you know how you see Very the Very majestic and the clouds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there were no clouds. The choir is actually in a church with stained glass windows, and the angels is joining them as music instructors. Is that outside of the church or inside? It's inside. It's in the pulpit. That'll, that'll so make, when the whole make congregation to to church, comes yeah. in yeah. and the music starts playing because they got a good choir, you know, um, you see the the mural behind them. The, the angels are actually directing the choir all the oh, time. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So, nice. yeah, I was very happy to do that one. You have pictures of that, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like to see that. What is the address of that church now? Um, what's it? What's the name of it? Um, Good News Sounds of Pentecost. Okay, we'll find it. We'll find yeah. it. Good News Sounds of Pentecostal Ministries. And um, that pastor's name is Daryl Alexander. Yeah. And you want to get more work um, because people are going to see that and they're going to be like, wow, we want you to. Come yeah, in. but actually, I run directly into the people that need this work. Like one day I was at the library. And I ran into this guy, and um, he said, you know, you look familiar. I said, yeah, I was about to say that about you. And I guess we were like the same age, but he didn't look like anybody I went to school with. So I was getting these, um, like, self-help DVDs, like Chicken Soup for the Soul, and, you know, a couple of more like that. And um, we talked in the lobby of the library, and... Um, I introduced myself and I gave him my card. So he looked at the card and he read it. He said, walls of life. That's why I need to see you. And I said, yeah, it usually works like that. And he said, my name is Malachi. And I said, oh, he said, Pastor Malachi. And I felt like, what am I supposed to do, bow to you or something, you know? But um, we started talking and he said he needs something painted in his church. So his church is um, Shiloh Church on Davenport Avenue in Newark, over there by Branchbrook Park. And so he has like this long wall, and we sat down. Long, when you say long, it's a long, you? narrow strip okay. behind the pulpit. Okay. Like um, about eight, five eight feet, feet high okay. uh, and maybe forty feet long. Ooh. Yeah. And so we sat down in the front in the pews and we talked about what his congregation needs to see every day that they come. Wow. In. 
And so we looked in the Bible, and he read something, and the word worship was in it. And I said, okay, you can stop right there, because usually how I paint what people want is I envision what they see. In their mind. Yeah, as an artist. And so I stopped him while I captured this image in my head. The word worship, 